White sharks are very important to our ecosystem because they are an apex predator in our coastal ocean. They're responsible for keeping marine mammal populations healthy and in check. And in addition, the juveniles also feed heavily on stingrays, which can cause a lot of injuries to people. We think the white shark population and many other shark populations are going up because they've been protected in California for many years. We want to ensure that people that are sharing those habitats with them know as much about white shark behavior so that they can find ways of still sharing that water with them and reducing their probability of being bitten. When you take any animal and you hook it and that animal now becomes distressed, that animal's fighting for its life. You put that animal in close proximity to people who are bathing or surfing and that's going to create a major safety issue. We want everybody to enjoy the ocean, be it fishing, be it surfing, but we want to make sure they do it in a safe manner. Over the last several years, we have seen shark populations increase. Baby white sharks tend to use California beaches as nursery habitat. They don't know what a predator is, and by being in shallow water, that's the safest place for them to be. Number two, they have to find food on their own, and they have to learn to capture that. They like to eat stingrays, and our beaches have lots of stingrays along them. And number three, they prefer warm water, and the water's warmer typically along our beaches than it is further offshore. Females give birth to them somewhere in Southern California, but we rarely see mature adult female white sharks along our beaches. We have a lot of ocean piers that bisect our beaches, and they also become hubs for a lot of other marine life and fish. So it's not surprising that people just walking down a pier can actually see a white shark. However, what that does is it brings these white sharks in close proximity to surfers, swimmers, and fishers, where they can interact with them in ways that can put sharks at risk, and potentially people at risk. The pier's a hot spot for catching good fish. It's gonna attract fishermen, just like the nice waves here attract the surfers. So we're very concerned about people fishing here, hooking a juvenile white shark, which ordinarily is a safe animal to be around. Now that animal's injured, it's fighting for its life, and it's right next to a bathing area. It creates a major safety concern for us. You need to be an educated fisherman. You need to know what you're catching, and you need to take the appropriate response if you do catch it. And in the case of a juvenile white shark, you're gonna to have to let it go before you even comes out of the water. Here are some ways to have a good idea of what you're looking at and whether you should let it go. First of all, if it's so large that you can't get it ashore or up to the pier, that's probably something you don't want to deal with. Leopard sharks, pinback sharks, soup fin sharks, those sharks are all generally less than 40 pounds. Much smaller sharks, and many of those have no teeth or very, very small teeth. White sharks, on the other hand, are much larger sharks generally gray in color, big dark eyes, and they're gonna swim in an area around the pier where they're looking for food, rather than being in the surf area where you're normally gonna find things like leopard sharks and other small sharks. The first way to avoid white sharks is to use monofilament. If you do hook one of these big sharks, you wanna break off your leader as close to the fish as possible. Inside the fish, you'll leave the hook, which is perfectly fine, so rust right out in a week or two. And then last but not least, chumming. Chumming is legal in California, but the problem with chumming is the quantity of chumming that you do. Fish need a very small amount of chum in order to be activated. With too much chum, it'll track too many different fish, possibly larger sharks, and then make it more difficult and unsafe for swimmers, surfers, and other beachgoers.